Hey guys, let's uh, go ahead and unbox Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain. This is the collector's edition for the PlayStation 4. We'll go ahead and do a detailed unboxing, look at uh, all the contents, and read a lot. This is sealed, arrived today on the release date. Pre-ordered it on Amazon. Uh, within minutes of it being available to pre-order, it was either uh, February or March, I forget. I have to, have to double check. So you can see how the seal looks really quick before we go ahead and check it out so it's kind of sealed up on the edge and a little glimpse of the back yeah let's start quickly on the front um it is metal gear solid 5 the phantom pain it says uh, tactical espionage operations got this uh, diamond dogs and it's the collector's edition you can kind of see a little bit there on the top, got the Fox Fox logo. On the bottom, we get it in reverse. Kind of mirrored, and hopefully you can read that. Instructions on how, how to open. Magnetically closed. Do not remove badge. Okay, I won't do that. Uh, one edge. Uh, just a little bit of a stitching. It's not actual stitching. It's just the artwork. And on the other edge, uh, same thing, the stitching. Okay, let's check out the back. So this is a, a cardboard insert. Um, it kind of goes around most of the box. So we can check that out right here on the full back. So we got a snake up top. So let's see here. All for revenge. Six years after the fall of Mother Base, legendary hero Snake wakes from a coma. Together with Ocelot and Miller, he must rebuild Mother Base and establish a new armed force. Uh, Diamond Dogs. Only then will he have his revenge on Cypher. The Phantom Pain brings an explosive conclusion to the Metal Gear Solid V experience. You can explore a vast world, unleash Diamond Dogs, build and defend mother base, and infiltrate enemy territory. So this is the collector's edition. Let's check out some of the contents. So, uh, this collector's edition includes, so over here, we get the collectible steel book. book. Down here's the game desk. Here's the collector's disc, Metal Gear Solid Five, The Phantom Pain, uh, comes with a map. Over here is a half-scale replica of Snake's bionic arm. And then over here, there's some additional game content. Uh, let's zoom in, see if we can read it. So, customizable Venom Snake emblem. Snake costume times four. Cardboard box times three. Weapon and shield set times four. And MGO item times four. And you can see what they are. So here are, to finish it up, you can see the, the barcode. Uh, looks like it's all regions for the Blu-ray disc. It is uh, M for Mature. And it's one player, one to 16 players on the network. Online play is optional. Looks like it takes a little bit of hard drive space, uh, 27 gigabytes. And uh, DualShock 4, it supports. Let's go ahead and open it up. So you can see this uh, this cardboard. Take it off, but save it. So this is that stitching. Um, it's just uh, uh, printed on there. Comes off the bottom. So then you're just left with the, the box. You can uh, clean this this uh, these uh -huh. new points later. 
So now that it's off, you can see it just splits and all uniform in color. Okay, so we got the Diamond Dogs magnet and don't rip it off was my, as I was instructed. So here's how the set looks on first opening. Got that uh, half scale replica. We didn't get the full uh, scale version. And we also didn't get the limited edition PS4 either. So we'll check that out. And on the right, got that steel, steel booklet, which we'll check out. And we got the game here, which we'll uh, open and check out. And so that's everything in the box. This, this is a, uh, there's a piece of Velcro here. Uh, allows you to clamp these together. It's just a piece of cardboard to hold the games. And that's everything. So why don't we go ahead and check out this uh, bionic arm first. It's, uh, so it's in this cardboard insert to hold it all together. Then it's in this plastic. And uh, it's covered with a small sheet of plastic. And here is the, the bionic arm. It's got some more more plastic inside. We'll we'll go ahead and figure out how to how to work this thing. So these just to give an overview, of these fingers they do uh, they do move. So he could uh, go ahead here and maybe unbox the game for me. Not sure how to use this. It's got it's got a it's got a base, so clearly you can display it. Um, if we zoom up here, it says Diamond Dogs R and D Artificial Limbs Laboratory. Over here, it says Field Stripping Faster B. Do not use Molly Bend Bendum. Bendonum lubricants. Uh, up here, motion sunu. I can't see this. Small print. Protective gauntlet. Caution. Bolding torque. Uh, minus 9.2 plus or minus 0 0.4 newton meters. At least we're using a SI unit, so that's good. Uh, over here. Forearm folding, lever latched, QD. Here, Diamond Dogs R&D, Artificial Limbs Laboratory. I think we read that one. That's everything. This this twist, uh, 360. Um, doesn't look like it goes back and forth at all. Almost seems like this cover comes off. I'm not sure. Aha. Okay, so this slides off the base. So that slides off the base. There's nothing in just the, the stand. So I guess you can't actually use it. Um, and looks like this thumb is covered with uh, some tape as well. Uh, there's, we zoom in there a little bit to say kind of caution. Overhaul must be done at a designated workshop. All right, well, I'm not a designated workshop, but yeah, I think this just comes off. It's kind of kind of taped. Uh, maybe I should just leave it, but. So it's completely open. Yeah, so that's it. I guess just the fingers and wrist kind of turn. Uh, it's got some uh, cute writing on it. Almost seems like this could pop out, but uh, I don't think 
it does. So that's the half scale replica of the Bionic Arm. So, so we got the, the game and the steel book. So here, just some artwork. We see it's a Konami Metal Gear Solid 5. back and then I guess the first opening here uh, so here's our uh, here's our collector disc um, we got spoiler warning the phantom episode Kingdom of the Flies contains many critical spoilers from the game. It is highly recommended that you complete all main missions in the game before viewing this chapter. This is manufactured by Konami Digital Entertainment, Blu-ray Disc, and Blu-ray Trademarks of the Blu-ray Disc Association, VF006 slash VT079 slash V0 VO004 JES10415 KP0007. Copyright 2005, Konami Digital Entertainment, made in the USA, Konami. 90053DL. Then, last up, we got. Uh, this should be. I, it's not. Doesn't say day one release on it or anything. It's just uh, the Metal Gear Solid Five, um, Phantom Pain. It's sealed. So let's. Why don't we open it first? And then we'll, we'll check it out in a little bit more detail. Okay, so this is a uh, kind of as you'd expect, just the PlayStation 4, the the blue disc with the plastic. Um, it, Feels like yeah, this this uh, title Metal Gear Solid Five in red is slightly kind of em embossed. Uh, no, just the solid five part is. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's uh, rated M. Not too much to see on the side. I don't feel any anything being embossed there. And then uh, the back. It looks like it's the same, although so. So if you're curious, if it came in the collector's edition, you see it says not for resale down here. Um, everything else looks about the same. Then we get the all for revenge. Oh, well, maybe not. Nine years after the fall of Mother Base, legendary hero Snake wakes from a coma. I think that sounds right. Although there are three, so there are some differences. There's only uh, three pictures here. I think there were four in the other one. So maybe we lose, uh, maybe you lose a little bit if you don't buy the collector's edition, right? Okay, so inside, uh, here's the Blu-ray disc and the inserts. We'll go through the inserts next. Check out the, the Blu-ray disc. So Metal Gear Solid Five: The Phantom Pain. Tactical Espionage Operations. It's uh, 2005, so not too much to see. So kind of uh, on the inside here, it's going through the controls uh, for the, on the DualShock 4. So the default controls, for example, uh, one is move with the uh, L uh, Joy uh, analog stick. And then that keeps going um, here. You get uh, control vehicles. Okay, so here, this is the, the map on the collector's edition, and the other insert is uh, this kind of warranty powered by uh, WYs, if you're curious. Um, okay, so that's our warranty, so let's, uh, let's check out this map here if we can. So, 
Be a little challenging, but maybe we can. Uh, maybe we can do it. Okay, so it's pretty large. It's about uh, I don't know, two thirds a meter. Okay, so let's check out this end first. Try this. Uh, there's going to be a, definitely going to be some glare. So large map. Let's see over here. Um, so we get a, a Findel oil field, swamp, B and C, uh, D is somewhere over there in the glare. Uh, looks like we got F. G, H, here's loading zone Africa, E, I need to zoom out a little bit, just give me a, a little better idea. So kind of nice, uh, let's see over here, just some kind of points, so let's, I don't know, let's check out one of them, so, so why don't we check out, um, them really about zero six muscle village so go to our map you might be able to find it over here so okay very nice uh, let's see if we can turn this around so this one is now vertical and we get Northern Kabul, Afghanistan, Diamond Dogs, Area of Operations. So this isn't up all the way. But it's very... You can see B, D, E, F, A, C was there. Yeah, a little tough with the glare. And, uh, down there at the bottom. Okay, I think that'll finish everything off. So if you see the map, the steel book, the main game here, so, uh, ionic arm. So 